British police have shot dead a man who went on a rampage, knife rampage, that claimed the lives of two people and injured three others. Stabbing spree occurred in the London Bridge area of the capital on Friday in what they dubbed a terrorism incident. The attackers has been identified as Osman Khan, a 28-year-old man released from prison on a licensed parole in December 2018 after spending eight years in jail for terrorism offences. Han was one of nine people arrested for involvement in the stock exchange plot in December 2010. He pleaded guilty in 2012 to offenses including planning and raising funds for terror-related activities and plans to establish and train at a terrorist military training facility in Kashmir. The judge in his case warned that Han should not be released before he had served a minimum of eight years of his 16-year sentence, citing his plans a serious long-term venture in terrorism. But due to his confession, Han was released in December 2018 and was subject to a terrorism notification period of 30 years. Now, Friday's attack is thought to have begun in Fishmonger's Hall on the north side of London Bridge. Uh, it was almost like a firecracker going off, um, whether it was police or whether it was uh, somebody else, I don't know. A bunch of people could start running through, shrieking, saying, get down, get down. We were working in a cafe cooking, all of a sudden, people at either side of our cafe were running, looking back, shouting, attack, attack, attack. Han, who was wearing an electronic tag, had reportedly been invited to attend a justice conference on prison rehabilitation at the venue. It was just before 2 p.m. local time when he began stabbing fellow delegates with two large knives. Han had also strapped on a fake bomb belt and threatened to blow himself up before former prisoner bravely challenged him. A witness inside the hall made a tweet describing how the man had grabbed a narwhal tusk from the wall to confront the attacker. Han was then dragged to the ground outside on London Bridge as he attempted to flee, with passers-by also stepping in to restrain him. Just five minutes after the alarm was first raised, armed forces from the City of London Police arrived on the scene and after pulling members of the public off the man, shot him dead. A man and a woman was killed in the stabbing spree, while three others sustained injuries. Following the deadly incident, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has vowed to hunt down anyone involved in the attack and bring them to justice. The Mayor of London have also confirmed that the case is being treated as terrorism-related. Coming just days before the country goes to the polls, Friday's attack bore chilling similarities to the outrage at Borough Market on June 3, 2017, five days before the year's general election. Eight lives were lost that day.